It's been described as one of the finest organs in the country, installed by William Hill in 1894. And over the past 18 months, we've followed Peterborough Cathedral organ as it's made the journey towards concert pitch. From the robot which helped record the original sound of the instrument, to the organ builders who lengthened each of the 5,286 pipes. Now each of those pipes is back in place, plus an extra rank or two, it's time to witness the end result. So let's conclude our journey, heading behind the scenes on the project of a lifetime, in the final instalment of Pipe Watch. While people up and down the country, and indeed the world, have awaited Peterborough Cathedral organs repitch with bated breath, the person arguably most excited about the process is the Cathedral's Director of Music, Stephen Grahl. What's been most, perhaps most touching for me, is the creative process, the way in which the conservation work, the craftsmanship of Harrisons and Harrisons, and also the musical input from the team here. The way we've worked as a team has been, has been really terrific, and I'm absolutely delighted with the way this work has turned out. The instrument, for me, sounds wonderful, every bit as good as it did when it was taken away to be repitched. These new additions provide really welcome and useful extra stops on the instrument. It's much easier and more natural for the children's voices to be singing at concert pitch, the pitch they hear the whole time. And it's been, I think, a revelation for the Cathedral Choir. It's enabled us to tackle broad repertoire with real integrity. No longer do we have to shift pitch halfway through a service. It means that we're able to sing the music that we always have with, with much more ease, so we can tackle 20th century repertoire with confidence, and that is now added to the very wide spectrum of music we sing here. The organ repitch has undoubtedly made a difference to cathedral life. So what do the choir and congregation make of it? It's obvious that the choir thrives on it. We in the congregation are obviously very, very happy with this. And we have, all we, know, all we can say is that it's wonderful to have them have it back for us again. I think it's a much better sound and it's like a really bright sound. It's really easy to sing with. I think that it sounds really grand and amazing and it fills up the cathedral really well. Well, it's a fantastic sound. While it was being tuned over the last couple of years, we've had a, an electronic organ. And that sounds pretty good, but the, the lower notes, the lower um, registers and the bass notes don't sound nearly as good as this real live pipe organ that we now listen to. It's a marvellous, marvellous sound. It's very special. It's easier to connect with the organ and have a bit more, it's more powerful than the electric organ. Yeah, um, the tuning is yeah, it's much easier to tune when when you're singing, um, and yeah, with the main organ. I am glad that we got the organ fixed because now it's easier to sing. I mean, it's absolutely brilliant for the choruses to now be singing at the right pitch because before it was just very confusing for them because it'd be one pitch at school, one pitch in the cathedral and actually keeping that really properly in tune and then suddenly singing unaccompanied and which one do you go with? Do you, do you, do you pitch it to normal pitch or do you pitch it to what the, what the organ will play when you, when you have the next hymn which is at a different pitch? You know, in, or in the context of one service that I would think would be extremely difficult for the choristers so I'm very grateful because I'm also a chorister pair that my children are now being taught at the right pitch and there's no confusion there. Very grateful for that. At the old pitch, which was higher, um, we couldn't really sing a lot, as many pieces as it was very high for us. Um, but now it's at a lower pitch, we can sing uh, more pieces more comfortably and there's a lot more range of what we can sing. And it's not just the choir and congregation that benefit from the repitch. Outreach programmes can now help local children understand subjects as diverse as physics, music and history through the use of the organ. Recently, Woofit, the wooden one-octave organ for young technologists, visited the cathedral to do just that. Just little squares with letters in them. And each each square has 
um, an individual letter. If you see it, you play it. So it starts off with C, so you play C, and it's got an R, so you play it again. C, C. In conjunction with Peterborough Cathedral Organ, children were able to understand the physics behind their everyday lives and how that applies to the organ itself. And in coming years, the newly repitched cathedral organ will allow for education and entertainment, a greater scope for concerts in the cathedral, a wider repertoire for the choir, and last, but by no means least, the upcoming organ festival. I do hope that you'll join us for the Organ Festival here in June, where you'll have the opportunity to hear the instrument in all its glory. It'll be used in various education projects, and we'll have, crucially, the opportunity to hear the instrument played in a concerto performance with orchestra. The Organ Festival will allow you to hear the newly repitched organ in all its glory. But before that, here it is, side by side with its former self.